Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page Beyond Paper Craft Show update. It's March and it's Monday and I am back with this week's show news and we have a very special inspiration slash community announcement to chat about. So firstly, whether you're watching us here live or watching a replay, pop in the comments, say hello, let us know that you're there and of course, like us, share us with your crafty friends and make sure you get these dates in your diary. Now the first this week, rather than a dash of inspiration, we've got a bit of a community announcement. You may have seen in the last week that we've had not one, but two places announcing that they're closing down. Now the first one was Darkroom Door and students sent out an email and a Facebook and Instagram posts and it's not really a surprise because we know that Rachel passed away last year and she really was the creative force behind it while Stuart was very much the engine room behind it. So he'll be closing the doors at the end of May and while it is sad it's also a chance for us to reflect so if you are looking for something for Darkroom Doors and you see it somewhere make sure you grab it because the store the business isn't actually being sold it is going to be shut down so they will become a bit of a collector's item so first we were very sad to hear that news from Stu but we certainly do wish him and the family all the best and the second announcement was that Close to My Heart announced on Wednesday that they will be closing as well. Now, our hearts certainly go out to Danny, to Sue, to Julie, to Shala, and all of the Close to My Heart demonstrators. It must have been a huge shock. Um, I haven't spoken to anyone that seemed to know that this was on the cards. And it sounds like it's a combination of a financial decision as well as a health decision, but it really does make it hard. So I think it is a good reminder that we need to support all of our local businesses and consultants and demonstrators. So we need to share their socials, comment on them, sign up to the newsletters, and of course, buy their craft supplies when we can, because that is the best way to ensure that we can keep our stamping, scrapbooking and paper crafts companies around. They need our support. And it also is probably a good place to put in a reminder that we need to say no to cheaper knockoff products. There's been going on for too long. We've been getting all these, these fakes, these inferior products in. They are copies. They are undermining the real businesses that are developing and putting these things in place, doing the design and bringing you all the classes and all the work. And when we go and buy something cheap from an online store that doesn't have the, a good reputation, then it really is undercutting the entire industry. And I think in 10 years time, it's gonna be very, very sad because there won't be any business to copy, there won't be any fakes, but there won't be an industry left either. So that is my community announcement for this week. I really want you to stop and think about when you do go and buy something from those cheap overseas sites. We really do need to consider that when we buy good quality supplies, it supports the industry, but it also helps us as well. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to use a stamp that doesn't work or a die that doesn't cut properly. Let's invest in quality products and then really do support the industry and help our crafting as well. So with our show news, firstly, a huge thank you to everyone that turned up to our D-Stash last Saturday at the Notting Hill Community Hall. It was lovely to see all the sellers there and a huge amount of crafters that got to pick up some absolute bargains, had a fun, and of course it was lovely to catch up with many of you as well. There's always plenty of seating there. We had tea and coffee available and it really was a good chance to see um, what everyone's up to, the, our first event for the year, but also grab a bargain. So our next D-Stash will be on Saturday the 1st of June and we'll open up open applications about a month before. So make sure you're on our email list at from picture to page and beyond.com.au. Scroll down the bottom and pop in your name and your email address and you'll get all of the updates as well as knowing when the applications for our next D-Stash market will be held. Now just a reminder that there is no Bendigo show this year. It is very sad because I had run 10 full Bendigo shows over the last few years. We went right through COVID, we managed to scrape the shows in, but we will not be holding the Bendigo show this year. Instead, we are heading to the Train and Hobby Show. So that is what I'm here to tell you about today. The Makers Arts and Crafts Hall will be at the Train and Hobby Show. There really is something there for everyone. It's being held at the Sandown Raceway in Melbourne, Australia, and it's on Saturday the 16th and Sunday the 17th of March. As always, for all the details, head over to their website, trainandhobbyshow.com.au. It's going to be the most amazing line out. The whole premise of the show is we really do want something for everyone when it comes to hobbies and trains and all sorts of things. So there's going to be food trucks. There's going to be model cars of all different sizes from slot cars right through to this one fifth scale, which are getting to be quite large. There's going to be tanks. There's going to be trains of all scales and gauges. There'll be boats of all scales and gauges, there's drones, there's home automation and computers, there's amateur radios, there's pop culture, cards, collectibles, toys, and of course, arts and crafts. 
So in the arts and crafts hall, which will be upstairs, there'll be plenty of signage, you'll be able to find us. We're going to have Close to My Heart with a whole range of their stamps and dies for sale. Kaiko Kit. Kaiko Fidget Spinners and they're a company that does a whole heap of different tactile things, perfect for those that need something to do with their hands to help them focus and there's a whole heap of different ones and we're very excited to have Joe, Kai and the team join us for their first show with us. We've got Creative Memories team, we'll have the Victorian Sew and Scissors Supply, so a fantastic place to catch up and restock on your scissors, cutting blades and your cutting mats as well. Eclectic Images will be there with their gorgeous range of stamps, we'll have Katie's Patchwork Pats and Sweets, so they'll be there with their sweets as well as their Patchwork Pats. Packs. Mixed Media Art will be there with all of our things. We've got some fantastic kids craft kits to play with and also a whole heap of storage containers. So if you need to restock to get organised, that's going to be a good opportunity. We'll have the Victorian Association of Miniature Enthusiasts. So Vane will be there showing off their gorgeous little scenario. Um, scenarios, little scenes, and the Needlework Tapestry Guild of Victoria will also be along as well as us talking about our next From Picture to Paper from picture to page paper craft shows so that we will be there on saturday the 16th of march from 10 a.m until 5 p.m and sunday the 17th of march from 10 a.m until 4 p.m as i said for all of the details and to get your tickets online and of course our tickets are available at the door as well head over to the website of trade and hobby show.com.au and then after Easter, we'll be taking a short break and then coming back with our paper craft posse craft -a noon. Now, if you don't know what a craft -a noon is, head over to our website, scroll down and click on the paper craft posse button. And there's a little video there that talks all about the posse and the craft -a noon. So it's a chance for you to bring along what you're working on, bring your own lunch, catch up with some like-minded people. And we were talking about doing some ATC swaps for our pack -a show as well. So we can talk about ATCs and tickets and all the details are at our website from picture to page and beyond com.au and that'll then very quickly lead us into the Packenham show it's shaping up to be a fantastic show unfortunately some of our regulars won't be attending but we do have some fantastic new exhibitors that we'll be announcing soon now Packenham is out at the Cadinia Cultural Centre and it'll be on Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th of May the retailers are fully booked so if you wanted to come along please reach out but we are pretty much full and like I said we'll be talking about our Papercraft Posse ATC swap when I work out the details when it gets a bit closer but for now make sure you've got those dates in your diaries and when it gets closer about a month out we will release tickets and let you know who's going to be there. Also in your diaries, make sure you've got our online show which is Friday the 19th and Saturday the 20th of July. Looking forward to coming into your homes with a great range of exhibits exhibitors demonstrations as well and then just that final note Sandown I've had a few questions Sandown will be at the Sandown race course again on Friday the 11th and Saturday the 12th of October so we won't be holding it on the Sunday this year it'll be on the Friday and the Saturday so oh excuse me make sure your diaries are marked for there and our paper craft posse is a little corner of our internet where we can catch up, we can share what we're working on, reach out to retailers. And this week's shares, we've had Lisa sharing all the D-Stash posts, so you can get a bit of a sneak preview there. And I've also been swatching some of my new craft supplies, so you can have a look at what I've been up to there. Um, Jenny shared her upcoming class that will be held at Chadston, where you can go and make a scrapbooking page or cards or an art journal layout, which is a fantastic offering. And Julie and Handmade Haven have shared the details of their craft retreats that are coming up as well. So that is it for this week's update, our community announcement. We are very sad to hear that Dark Room Doors will be closing their doors in a few months and the Close to My Heart will also be closing their doors. So a huge heartfelt hugs to all of our demonstrators and those that we've come across the years and we really do hope that you'll still be around in some capacity. But please, if you do have a Close to My Heart demonstrator, give, reach out to them, make sure you give them a hug and check on how they're going. D-Stash So was a wonderful success, so thank you to everyone that participated. We'll be back in June for the next one. And like I said, our main focus now is our Makers, Arts and Crafts at the Train and Hobby Show, Sandown Raceway, 16th and 17th of March. For all the details and tickets, head over to the train and hobby show .com au. So that is it for this week's update. It's so lovely catching up with all of you. I look forward to seeing you soon. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.